On our second day in Tokyo, me and Tatsuki went to Shibuya. The station didn't look very nice, but very close to the station there was Hachiko statue. Right next to Shibuya station we saw also the famous pedestrian scramble. In Shibuya there are many shops if you're interested in shopping, but me and Tatsuki decided to go straight to Meiji Jingu a sanctuary near Harajuku station. We got there after getting lost inside a park where we didn't find any map or indication on how to get to Meiji Jingu. <laughs> the sanctuary was very nice, but not as special as we expected. The temples in Kyoto are much more beautiful than that. Starving to death, we went to a vegan place called Brown Rice. Io è molto puzzolente. E quindi a me non piace. Tatsuki thought the portions were a bit small, but it was a very tasty meal. I loved the dessert, a lemon tofu cheesecake. Later, we went to Asakusa, which looks quite traditional. It's the area we like the most in Tokyo. a temple called Sensoji. It was very beautiful, much more interesting than Meiji Jingu, in our opinion. Satisfied, we had some more extra free time, so we went to karaoke for one hour. After that, we ate dinner at a great vegan place called Kaemon Asakusa. We got a 2000 yen set, which included a main dish plus a salad and drink bar where you could get drinks and salads as many times as you wish, a soup, a dessert, and you could choose between a chocolate cake and a matcha ice cream. They had a lot of awesome drinks and we were very satisfied.
After dinner, Tokyo Sky Tree. So cool. It's a 634 meters tall tower. We got inside and enjoyed a breathtaking view of Tokyo at night. If you go to Tokyo, don't miss it. I hope you guys liked this video. What me and Tatsuki thought about Tokyo on the first day hasn't really changed. If you haven't watched the previous video, check the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in the next episode.